Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be putting together the seven and a half foot grave and bones skull and uh, skull and bones archway. Um, sorry, it's taken me a minute to get back to you with the next video, but uh, hopefully I can get this together for you today. Uh, this is going to be my throwback Thursday from last week. <laughs> Sorry about that. And eventually I'm going to get to Emmeline. But, alright, moving along. Only thing I've done so far is cut open the box. And this is what she looks like. Typical Home Depot instructions on the lid. Um, paper instructions there. A uh, couple of boxes. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. All right, let me get it all out and I'll get back to you. All right, guys. <laughs> it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven pieces. I'm assuming those are your ends. Here's your big long pole that goes in the middle. A lot of people haven't been putting that pole on there. Um, they're scared by the trip hazard. It's the same pole. If you have the uh, the grave uh, yard uh, archway, it has it. I usually put a long mat over it. No problem with anybody tripping or whatnot. But um, I just never really thought of not putting the pole there. Um, so, I mean, it's an option, I guess, if you want to do it. So many people have done their own things with this arch they're so fabulous i wish i had a talent i wish god had given me some sort of ability but he did not so but people are putting lights in these eyes they can do any color and do rhythms and start out pink and runs of pink or red i mean it's just fabulous but i'm going to tell you what i'm going to do because like i said I'm no talent Cindy here, so um, I did see where a lady, and I, I don't mean to make it sound like she didn't have any talent, but um, she was one of the first ones to get the, the arch, and she took this paint, it's uh, the Tulip Glow in the Dark paint, and she just put dabs in the eyes, and it looks phenomenal, and of course, glowing it at night, you give it a little ethereal look to it so that's what i'm gonna do because that's about the extent of my talent um and I'm, to be honest i'm worried about that i'm screw, worried i'm gonna screw that up paint paint it and it look awful or something but anyway that's what i'm gonna do uh the only other thing i have two boxes which what looks like the exact same thing and they're both labeled b and c which kind of concerns me but there's a, two identical sides, so I'm, I'm not going to wig out yet. Also, a lot of people talk about these signs. Uh, my arch came with this sign. A lot of people said their pumpkin patch and their pumpkin patch, pumpkin stack and their skull stack came with them. My pumpkin stack, I believe, came with it. Sign, please don't climb on the stack. But the skulls didn't, I think. It might be reversed, but I think that's it. But I'm holding on to these signs because... If you have kids that come to your party, and we do, <laughs> yeah, you can see how happy I am about that. They touch, they knock, they do things that you just want to, um, well, anyway. Um, so I'm going to probably utilize those so they don't climb, punch, touch, and uh, get me arrested when I see it. So anyway, all right, uh-oh. Is that one dented? Or is that the way it's made? Oh, it's the way it's, well. All right, I don't know if that's dented or the way it's made. But anyway, I know a lot of the people have been saying these get a, are getting a little warped sitting around, people waiting to put them together. It is one of the last things uh, that I got this year. You know, I tried to not get too much, and I've just been holding off on it. Um so hopefully it's not warped and it's easy peasy the diagram said th uh, showed three people putting this together well it's just gonna be me myself and i 
So let's hope this works. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, first thing you do is attach pole B to both your sides. And then you're going to take D and slide over it. And what I love, I wish they would do this to all props. I'm looking for that stupid sticker. I'm looking all around for the stupid sticker to take it off. And I happen to look and look right there what they have molded into it. The D. Isn't that fabulous? No more stupid sticker residue. No more wondering about what if the sticker falls off when I put it together four years from now. And it also has outside and inside labeled. So you know uh, how to set it. All right, moving right along. All right, guys, same verse, same as, what is it? Second verse, same as the first. To quote Ghost. Um, that needs to slide down on there. I'll fix that. But uh, the, uh, the, you put your next pole, and these are all push pins, by the way. Um, put your next pole, and then um, the next piece is E. And I just realized y'all were probably seeing my gorgeous sweatband. <laughs> Um, if you follow me any at all, you know I had to put my mom in, uh, unfortunately, in a nursing home a couple months back. So I've been going through her house. That's another reason, the main reason the videos have been kind of sparse and timed out. A uh, great span in between them. At any rate, some for my tennis playing days in college um, and high school. And I have it on today because I'm going to clean out the garage. And, uh, yeah, I sweat like... Uh, nobody's business so i gotta admit though i don't know how i wore these back in the days it is itching my arm so bad all right sorry 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 i just know you know a couple of lives like wow she has a sweat band on her wrist and it looks like it's from the 70s not from the 70s from the 80s anyway all right moving right along all right guys so then you take the c pole and it snaps in just like the bees. The only difference now is they give you a washer and a nut. And you add that right there. Um, it doesn't say tighten down with tool or make sure it's extremely tight, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to hand tighten it down. So um, that, I believe, yes, is all of our straight pieces. So here comes the curve parts. And hopefully, I've heard this is where your problem is, obviously. So hopefully, we'll we'll get through this together easy. <laughs> All right, let me let me move on. All right, guys, let me show you what I did here. Uh, these two pieces, G and H, they interlock, and I just held them with my thighs, held one and turned it. I didn't want to fit too good. Um, it took a little elbow grease. Um, one thing I did do, I had a G and an H, and it really wasn't wanting to go in, so I swapped one of the Gs, and it seemed to go better. I think they're all supposed to be exactly the same, but it seemed to go better. And I was right. It is dented right there. Um, anyway, so you know what I mean by locking. This is what I'm talking about, these things. Kind of like the elbow joints and shoulder joints and all the, the big props. Turn it in, and I mean, put it in, and then quarter turn. It's locked in place. All right, so you got two GHs like this, and I've already looked. Uh, the H's are going to connect, and then here's your I um, center piece. Hadn't got that far yet in the <laughs> instructions, but yeah, the well, all right, here we go. Okay, guys, that was a knock on wood. Easy. Um, I thought it would be a pain connecting those two ends to that middle I piece. They went smoother in than the connecting these two pieces. All right, so uh, time to put it on there, I'm assuming. All right, let's do it. All right, everyone, this is a first ever. I've put together the 12 foot skeleton, the inferno, the witch. Oh, dear God, that witch. That was horrible, but I did it. Uh, did I say the werewolf, the phantom? Predator of the night, all these tall things that you're supposed to have at least two people. I'm not saying they were all easy, but I got them together. So this is a first. Can't get this together by myself. Um, all these pieces, 
you sit, caddy, insert, and turn. They're too heavy to turn. Um, so I've just got it sitting there so you can see size and height and whatnot. Um, what it says do, for those that have someone to help, like I uh, left off all ago, the arch piece, you <clears throat> assemble. Then you lay down these pieces where it's uh, topped off with the nut and bolt. You lay them down. You have somebody hold this piece. And you caddy corner screw or what? Uh, three-quarter screw, screw. That's what it was. Three-quarter screw this end. Come over here and do the same. And then um, also before you stand it up if you want to use it, these go down there. I guess you can... Uh, Pulling them up if you're going to have it on a flat surface and point it down, mash it into the ground, I guess, if you're going to be outside on the sod. So, um, there you have it. And I'm sorry as I can be that, you know, it's got this big, but I cannot hold this big thing and turn. Um, but honestly, I mean, I, I was thinking about it because I'm always thinking as I'm building about this stuff. I was about to give it, you know, easy peasy build because it is an easy peasy build. You just have to have somebody at the end because the pieces are just too chunky to um, to do by yourself. So anyway, I am going to, you know, mine has a few dents in it that I showed you. I think that's all I really hadn't looked, but you can't even tell. Like, I don't know where they are because of the... I mean, you see how it's made. Um, I saw this in the store, and I've heard a lot of people say, man, that was my number one want. And then I saw it in the store, and I was like, no. Or I received mine and saw it in the store, and I just returned it without opening it up. You made a mistake. Because I did the same thing. I looked at it in the store. I did not like it in the store, but I was like, huh. It's not as cool as I thought it was going to be. In the store, it's just a different perspective. You got all the other props around, you know, as whatever. This thing's pretty dang um, awesome. So, if you returned it, you made a mistake. Uh, I'm going to give it a... I mean, it's plastic. Some of it goes inside the other pieces. Um, not all of it. The arch part, you have to store separately. But I'm going to... You know what, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this probably fit in one of their bags or one of those Christmas tree bags. Because these bottom three pieces fit inside each other. So that would be two. If not, it'd be close. So I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal to store. If you have somebody to help you, it's an easy, easy, easy build. Um, and it looks awesome. And if you're crafty, all oh, the things you can do with this. I'm sure you guys have saw it. So I'm going to give it 10 cauldrons out of 10. And uh, I love it, guys. And uh, I'm sorry I couldn't get this last little piece to turn in by myself. But you can see I've been putting stuff together here by my door here in the, uh, we call it the she shed. It's where we have our parties. So uh, I think it's seven and a half foot is what the box says. There's my door frame. So I'm thinking, is that right? Because it's taller than my door. Yeah, it says seven and a half foot, but you can clearly see the top of this is much taller than my door. Yeah, I'm not going to say much taller. If it's supposed to be seven and a half feet, I think it's an even eight. But, all right, guys, there's that. Like I said, got the throwback Thursday I need to put together for you. I don't know if I mentioned this, but Sinister, uh, or Sitter of Souls. I always want to say Sinner. Sinister. Anyway, Sitter of Souls. Emmeline, just a few coming up. All right, getting close. What is it? 49 days? I think. Could be wrong, but I'm thinking it. All right, everybody stay bubbly. Until next video, please like, share, and comment if you got a comment. All righty. Talk to you guys later. Till next video.